Hi, I'm April Plank and thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different angle today because I feel like for this warm up, it's better to see from this angle. And then once we're done with the warm up, I'll move to my original angle, which will be better for everything else. So anyway, that's why we're set up like this. Um, you're going to be using a ball, but that's not to a lot later. So I'm going to set that off to the side. You're going to be on a box and I've got a set up short box. And I have three red springs on for my footwork. So let's get ready to go. We're going to start with a little ab warm up on the box. So I'm going to turn quarter turn to the side. You want to slide your hips as far forward as possible. And then when you lay back, um, you want to have kind of right at the bra line. So I'm sliding myself back a little bit. So I've got a little bit of um, able to get a little extension through my upper body. So take your hands behind your head, elbows wide. We're going to start with that upper body going un over the box into a little extension and then curling back in. Now I'm keeping my tailbone heavy, trying to maintain a neutral pelvis and neutral spine. And just inhaling over the box and exhaling back up. Now the whole purpose of being on this box is it's a smaller base of support. So I'm going to be pretty much doing the entire ab series from the mat. And if you um, feel like it's too challenging, you can actually do this whole series on the floor and instead of the box. You can also take breaks when you need to. Let's do four more. And three. Last two. On your next one, I want you to hold the upper body still. We're going to go right into our single leg stretch. So pull the right knee in, grab the ankle and knee, give it two little pulls and switch. So that leg that's going long is extending long and low. The other option or thing I like about being on the box is that leg that's going long can go even lower. So you're getting a nice hip flexor stretch on that leg. If this bothers your head or your neck, you can always keep your hands behind your head as a support. <sighs> nice strong breaths. Again, we're going to be doing everything without a break. So if you need to pause me, take a little rest, come back when you're ready. Here's four and three. Keep that nice big curl of the upper body, keeping the head lifted. Good. One more on each side. And then I want you to pull both knees and grab at your ankles, come into that tiny little ball, bring your head towards your knees. We're going to inhale, reach the arms and legs in opposite directions, nice and low. Exhale, circle around, big hug into the body. Inhale, reach and extend. Exhale, circle and pull in. Inhale, reach and extend and exhale, circle and pull in. Again, if this is too much on the neck, hands just go right behind your head, supporting your neck. Inhale out, exhale. Let's go four. Try to pull that belly button deep into the spine and three, last two. Good. You've got one more here. Pull the knees in, take that right leg straight up to the ceiling. Take your left leg long and reach it as low as you can. Pull that right leg in twice and switch. So it's a little pulse pulse and a little pulse, pulse. Again, if the head's getting tired, hands behind the head. Little pulse, pull the knee in twice or pull the leg in twice. You can grab behind the calf or the hamstring, whatever feels accessible to you. Keep curling the upper body. The more you can keep your head forward, the less strain on the neck of holding the head. Big exhales, pull, pull, and pull, pull. Let's go four and three, and two, and one. Hands behind the head and single pull. So one leg and then the other. So it's just a single count, switch, switching those legs like nice big windshield wipers. Press and press for eight. My abs are on fire. We're almost there. We've got two exercises to go. Stay with me if you can. Take a break if you need to. Listen to your body. Last four and three and two and one. Both legs up, little turn out, heels together, toes apart. Lift up higher, let the elbows go wide. L lengthen the legs away from you and then exhale, pull it back in. 
Now don't worry about how low you go. You're only going as low as you can maintain stability through the spine. <sighs> Draw deep in through those abdominals. Inhaling away. Exhale, pull in. Go as low as comfortable. <sighs> Big exhales to draw in. Squeeze your legs together. See how much you can get of the inside of the legs to touch. <sighs> Two more. <sighs> nice job, you guys. This is your last one. And then we'll come back to tabletop. Crisscross is the last thing to go. Lift it back up. Left elbow towards the right knee, two pulses, and switch. Now, I shouldn't have elbow. You're really trying to keep your elbow back and reach across with your shoulder. So I'm thinking of my left rib going to my right hip, my right rib going to my left hip. Two little pulses to the side, switch, two little pulses. Now my upper abs are on fire because I don't have the support behind me. So this is a lot more challenging on this little box. If it's too much, build yourself up on the floor first and then graduate to the box. <sighs> You've got it. Last four and three and two and one. Good. Pull the knees in. Roll yourself up. Well, I'm definitely warmed up and we're going to change the view and go into our footwork. All right, let's go into our footwork. So you're going to turn over to face your foot bar. You're going to put your feet on the wood, push the carriage back a little bit, and then drop yourself down. Take those feet and put them onto the foot bar about six bones distance apart. Pop your heels together. Hands are going to go to the sides of the carriage, and you're going to round your back like you're trying to take your belly button and push it against that box behind you. Bend as deeply as your flexibility will allow, and then squeeze and reach away. Pretty much a variation of the short spine massage. I don't know why I said short spine massage, stomach massage. You're probably thinking like, what are you talking about? Stomach massage. So you have that little box and you're really thinking of pushing your belly button back into the box. So you're rounding forward through the body. Just using this as a warm up through the legs, pressing out and resisting in. Squeeze and extend the legs, resist back in. We're gonna do this four more times in this position and then we'll switch positions with the upper body. Good. Now come home, take the hands behind you to the edge of the box, lift your chest forward, slight bend at the elbow and let's go again. Press and extend. Resist back in, press and extend. Now I'm focusing on that string right from my sternum, lifting me up to the ceiling, sitting really tall using that box as feedback. So I don't want to really lean against the box. I'm just using the box as a little feedback to try to push my hip bones, my PSIS back here into the box as I lift up. Good, we'll do four and three and two and one. Third variation, come home, reach the arms long, keep that lifted position of the spine and let's go out again. So I'm trying to lift up and out of my hip bones, reaching energy through the crown of the head. Definitely a lot more challenging than our traditional footwork not only requiring a lot more flexibility through the hips to come in and out, but requiring a lot more stability through the core to hold yourself in this upright position versus laying down. So if you're having a hard time with this footwork, just lay down, do your regular footwork. Just trying to change it up a little bit, give our muscles an opportunity to work in a different way. Give me two more here, and then we'll do our very last variation, which is our reach. So the next time the legs go straight, you're gonna reach the right arm, look and lengthen the whole torso. Bring it back in and switch. So you're getting that wrap of the torso around, that nice big stretch through the spine. Again, I'm sitting up nice and tall. The other thing, if your hamstrings are inflexible, 
Some of my clients do not like the box at all here. And if you find that you're not enjoying the box in this position, feel free to take the box away. You can do this with no box. You could do it with a little mini ball behind you. So not every exercise feels good for everyone. And so I've learned to modify things that don't feel good. So remove the box if you don't like it. Work without a box or with a little mini ball there. Go ahead and come all the way home. Slide your heels apart. Take your hands on the inside of the feet. Push the legs straight. Drop your heels and pull the bar towards you. Give yourself a little stretch. Let your head, your neck, your shoulders relax. Let your heels go under the bar and just lean yourself forward. We're gonna work on a little bit of single leg work. Leg work, so let's come in, put the heels together, knees out to the side. Take your blue spring and put it on and take your up, two reds off. So I'm left with one red, one blue. And we're gonna go into just a little bit of single leg work. So let's start with the hands on the sides of the carriage, pushing the belly button deep into the spine, up and against the box. Push all the way out. Now the right leg is going to go under the foot bar. I'm going to bend the left leg out to the side. Push it all the way straight. Now this is a really challenging variation, not only for this left leg, but also for the right quad. So we're going to be alternating between sides and doing six counts of each exercise. Last two here. And last one. So we'll take the right foot up. Left foot down, six on this side. So I'm rounding my back, I'm scooping my abs in, reaching that right knee out to the side and that turn out and pushing nice and long. And I like to exhale when I push, use a breath that works for you. Last two on this side, switching back, left foot on, take the hands behind you, lift your sternum, let your shoulders relax back and down, elbows just a little bit bent. Take the right leg off and we'll do six in this position. Full presses in and out. Keep that right leg energized. Do one more and let's switch again. Right leg up, left leg down. So this is a lot of quad work for that leg that's extended, which is why I like to do the alternating to give it a little break between sides. Good, you've got two more here and we've only got one more set and then we're gonna move on from here. Take the foot up, last variation, arms reaching, lift up and out like you're trying to reach away from the box, right leg under six times, push with the left, six. You've got it. This is definitely not an easy variation, three, and two, and one. Let's switch right leg on, left leg off, and last set. Use your abdominals to pull that belly deep in, supporting the spine. Last two to go, and one more. Awesome job. Set that foot down, take the hands to the bar, bend the knees, push the legs straight, let your heels go under, Pull the bar with your hands, giving your back a little stretch, your legs a little stretch. Take a little recovery. I did that yesterday and my quads are still on fire. So I know it's a lot of quad work. So let's work something else. Come all the way in, take your feet down to the wood, step yourself all the way up to the box. We're gonna take it to a blue spring and I'm gonna sit sideways like in a little mermaid position. So I'm gonna have my right leg over the box. My left knee is on the carriage and you may need to slide it back enough so that you don't feel your foot rubbing against the wood. Take your right hand and grab the strap and take it right by your ear. I'm on a blue spring here. So I'm going to take an inhale, sit really tall through my spine. Exhale, lean to the football, reach the arm over the head, foot bar. Take an exhale and reach and lean. Inhale, back up. Good. Blue spring for me is quite heavy. So if you feel that you need to and you have the option, you may want to drop to a yellow here. We're going to do that two more times with the overhead. 
and then last time here. Good. Lift your elbow, send the palm down, thumb by the armpit. Let's push across and come back. So you're doing a little twist across and back. Sit up as tall as you can. Feel that twist coming from your waist as you punch across. Last two. And one more here. Good. Now your left hand's going to drop, grab the strap, and we're going to draw the sword up. Punch it out to the side, back and down. Good. Reach in energy through the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Keeping your hips square to the front, keeping your shoulders square to the front, and just moving that arm. You guys look really great. Good. Give me two more. And last one. Good. Now let's change our position just a little bit. Slide your hips more so that you're closer to the foot bar, that you can take your right hand to the headrest. You're going to lean onto that right hip and extend your left leg long. Now my elbow is still going to stay right by my hip and I'm going to push for a tricep. So pretty much the same draw the sword we just did, but now our body position has changed and we're isolating just the second part of the draw the sword, working that tricep again. Energy through that left leg. Good. Give me two more. And then we're going to hold the arm straight over the knee and hold. Now the leg's going to lower down and lift. Hopefully your leg will be able to fit based on your leg length that you're not hitting the foot bar. But if you are, then just stay above the foot bar. Just little lifts and lowers for four and three and two and one. Bend the arm, bend the knee. We're going to take the strap and put it on the foot, left hand to the hip. Bending the left leg, you're going to push and reach it straight to the foot bar, pull it back in. Now, the important thing here is I'm not looking down to my foot. I'm looking forward. I'm thinking the crown of the head reaching to the tower, foot reaching away. If there was a plane of glass behind me, my hips and my shoulders would be laying up against that glass. Good. Let's do that two more times with the bend and stretch. And then we have one more thing with this leg and the strap. So the next time I'm going to hold it out long, keep it straight, bring it forward till it's right on, at kind of the edge of the box and then turn your toes down, heel up. You're going to lower the leg down, lift it up. Not a big motion, but it doesn't need to be. So I feel a lot of work right here in my glute. I'm going to do eight. Two more, and last one. Good job. Pull the knee in, take the strap, and bring it all the way off. Good. Let's turn this way, facing the foot bar, and give that leg a little stretch. So take your left leg, cross it over the right, figure four, and then I'm just going to sit nice and tall because I already feel the stretch here, and I don't want to push it too far if I'm already feeling enough stretch. There's no need to go forward. If you don't feel the stretch, press your chest forward, hinging from your hips until you feel a little stretch. Because we've got the other side to go. So let's just enjoy this for the moment. That was a mighty little exercise. Didn't have to do a lot of those to feel it. All right, so let's do it again. Come all the way up, take a quarter turn to the left. Let's sit in that side mermaid so your right knee is reaching back. This is a really good quad stretch for the work that we did in our foot series. And then you've got the leg reaching behind you, your sitting side saddle. Left hand is going to grab the strap and it's going to go right by your ear. Take a big inhale, exhale, lean to the foot bar and reach the arm over your head. Nice big lean and reach and then back. And this is the left side. So again, if you would like less weight, you can always opt for that yellow. Two more to go. And then this is your last one. Good. Second exercise, lift the elbow up, turn the palm down. We're going to punch across the body 
and then back. So it's a little twist across and back. Good, sit really tall, feel that twist coming from your waist. Two more to go here with our twist and our shoulder press. Last one here. And let's take the right hand into the strap, left hand on the box. You're gonna draw the sword and punch, bring it back and down. Trying to isolate and work through the right back of the shoulder. Good. Just two more here. Awesome job. Okay, we're going to move on by moving the body a little bit more to the foot bar. So I'm kind of on the very edge of the box with that left hip. My left hand's going to go onto the headrest. Your right leg's going to reach above the foot bar, right elbow above the right hip, and then I'm going to push the carriage out with a tricep press. Look right up in front of you, keep your shoulders back, keep your chest lifted, hips stacked nice on one on top of each other. Good, keep that leg lifted so it can clear the foot bar. We'll do that one more press out and in, and then the next time we're gonna take it out and hold it. So hold that arm long, let's go down and up with the leg, down, and up, think of your shoulder sliding down your back, just holding the carriage still with your right arm. Keep your left elbow just slightly bent so you're not locking out that joint. You've got two and one. Pull the right knee in, put the foot into the strap, right hand can go on your hip. You're gonna push the right leg straight, pull it back in. Push and reach as straight and pull it back in. Try to stand on the side wall with that leg. Again, your left elbow is going to be slightly bent. There's a little bit more weight in your arm at this point, and you don't want to lock your elbow out and make the joint do the work. Keep the work in the muscle. Last two. Keep the leg long. Bring it forward till it's right above the corner of the box. Turn the toes down, heel up. Lift up and lower. Lift up and lower, really breathe here, isolating through that right glute. Good, you've got four and three. Doesn't have to be big to work, last one. Good, pull the knee in, take the strap all the way off. Set that strap down, let's turn back to the foot bar and do a much needed stretch. You guys did awesome. I know that's not easy. Cross your right leg over your left, coming into that figure four. And I already feel enough stretch, so I'm not gonna go any farther than this. If you need more stretch, take an inhale where you are, and then you just start to lean forward on your exhale, going deeper if you need it. Good, last two breaths. And then I think it's time for a little bit of plank. So let's come up to standing. So your feet are on the carriage. Your hands are gonna be on the foot bar and I'm gonna stand up. If you have a locking foot bar, you can pull, otherwise just push into the foot bar. I'm on a blue spring still. I'm gonna be here for a while. My right foot's gonna come to the gray surface. I'm gonna push the carriage back and come into a lunge. So also really great stretch for my hip flexors that I worked already worked quite a bit today. So I'm gonna find my lunge, pull the carriage in, round your back and pull your right knee to your forehead coming into a scoop. I'm gonna alternate the two positions, pushing back into my lunge and coming forward into my scoop. When I go into my lunge, my back heel lifts a little bit, I'm on the ball of my foot. And then when I come in, the heel lowers. Just do where that, whatever feels comfortable for you with your feet. Pressing back and pull in. Find that scoop. So you're going from a neutral spine, neutral pelvis to a scooped abdominal. Two more here. We're going to be building from this position, adding on, making it a little more challenge. 
The next time the carriage is home, hold it, pulling the knee to the face, and then push your right foot down onto the box. So now your right foot's on the top of the box. Push both legs out, you're in a plank, and then pull it back in. Still alternating between a neutral spine and a scooped and round position. Neutral and scooped and round. Use your breath. Last two. Hold this one out. Take your left leg to meet the right on top of the box. You're going to step the right foot down, left foot down, right foot up, left foot up, right foot down, left foot down. Always leading with the right since we're on the right side. We'll do the left in a little bit. So just up and down, holding that plank. You have the choice of holding the feet down to the carriage or bringing the feet up to the box. So you choose where you want to be. Find that position. Up on top of the box is maybe a little bit more challenging. Wherever you are, bend the knees in, push it out. <sighs> bend it in, push it out. <sighs> Keep that tailbone pushing down. Keep those abs pulling in. Think of your arms like they're sliding away from each other to activate your lats. Little bend in the elbows so you're not locking out the joints. You're rolling your shoulders back. Your kind of arms, armpits are drawing back and down. Last two. One more. Hold it out again. If you're on top, move down to the bottom to the carriage. Pull the carriage in and relax. You're gonna, if your bar locks, you're gonna bend your knees, pull the bar towards you, and decompress the wrist and a little in the back. I don't know about you, but my heart rate is up. That is definitely a little bit of cardio. So take another breath. We get to do it again. Come all the way up. Left side gets to play this time. Left foot forward. Push the carriage back. Come into that nice lunge position. As you come in, you scoop. Pull the knee in towards you. Push it back out to the lunge and scoop and pull it in. Back out to the lunge and scoop and pull in. Think of your hips being lifted from a sling up to the ceiling and then back down. Three more to go. Last two here. Good. The next time the carriage is in and you're in that knee to nose position, set the left foot to the box. You're going to push both legs back into a plank. Pull both knees back in. Both legs push and both legs pull. Alternating between a neutral and a scoop. Really good job, you guys. Stick with it. Being great. Next time you're out, hold it. Now your left leg leads. So your left, right leg comes up to meet the left. Left leg goes down. And right leg goes down. Left go, leg goes up. Right leg goes up. So you're alternating between up and down. If it's too much to alternate, just hold the plank. Use your breath. Four. Decide if you're going to do the next exercise with your feet down or up. Two more. If you're going down, hold down. If you're going up, come to the top of the box and hold. Wherever you are, your hips are going to lift into a pike and you're going to push back out. Lift up and into a pike and then back out. Really good job. Three more. And two. And one. If you're at the top, push out to the plank. 
If you're at the bottom, pull it. If you're at the top, push back. Um, bring your feet all the way down. Bring the carriage in. Let's go into that little decompression. Feet flat on the carriage. Bend your knees, pull the foot bar towards you. Take a few big recovery breaths. Awesome, awesome job, you guys. Come all the way up. We are still in a blue spring. We're gonna stay there for a little while longer. I want you to make a half turn all the way around and put your thighs up against the box. So I've got my thighs against the box. I'm gonna to come to a high kneeling position, but I'm gonna reach my straps first. So grab your straps. Have your thighs against the box and your arms on your side of the box. So based on how long your arms are, maybe your fingertips are reaching to the box, but the box is a good guide to not allow you to go forward with your arms. So this is your stopping point. Tuck your tailbone, pull your abs in, pull your ribs down. Take an inhale to get ready. We're gonna exhale, pull the arms back behind us. Inhale forward just to the box, but not beyond. You're pulling straight back, broad through the shoulders, broad through the chest. Exhaling back. Inhale forward. I like to think of finding that little pause where the carriage is not closing, it's not opening, it's holding. So you're getting a little isometric hold and then you're releasing. A little press and hold and release. Do that four more. And three. This whole series is going to be all about strengthening the back, our posture muscles that hold us upright. Do one more here. Really good job. Take the arms forward, turn your palms to face each other. You are beyond the box now. Pull your abs in, push your tailbone down, lift your sternum. Take an exhale, pull the arms straight out to a T. Release it back slow. You're actually gaining a lot more strength as the arms are coming together and the springs pulling you. So if you think of slowly letting the springs recoil and kind of resisting that, so not letting them go too quickly, you'll be building up quite a bit of strength through the back of the arms here. Pressing out and then resist, resist, resist. Good, let's just go two more. And then last one. Continue with the back. We just continue to change the focus. So we're gonna grab onto the tape now and cross your straps. So I have the left strap in the right hand, right strap in the left hand. Pull your elbows right into your waist, lift your sternum, pull your abs in. You're gonna rotate your arms open and close, keeping your elbows glued right into your sides, hinging the arms, forearms like a door, working those rotator cuff muscles. So all the muscles that rotate the shoulder these little small muscles we're getting to kick on. Take your time. I find myself starting to rush. I've got to slow it down. Big exhales to open, inhales to resist. Think about the quality of your motion. Not doing a lot, so we're not really focused on quantity. It's about just the quality of each repetition. See if you can do each repetition a little better than the one before it. Give me one more. Good. Now let your elbows release out to the side. You're gonna do a high elbow row, pull and hold, and then release. High elbow row, pull and hold, and release. Is your abdominal still engaged? Think about your tailbone continuing to push down, your sternum reaching forward, but your ribs drawing closed, crown of the head reaching to the ceiling. You've got the box there to help you. So it's a little harder because we're positioned back a little farther, but it's a little easier because you have the box stabilizing you. Good, two more and then we'll finish one more exercise here for our upper back. And release. Uncross your straps. Let's take the straps and thread them on the forearm. So the right strap's going on the right forearm, the left strap's going on the left forearm. I'm gonna lift my elbows up close to in line with my shoulders, plug my shoulders back, pull my abs in, open out into a T and hold, and then release it back. So a big exhale as you open, inhale as you close.
Good, find that slow cadence, linking your breath with your movement. Give me three more, please. And last one. Really nice job. Put the straps away. From here, we're going to actually lay on the box and I want you to have your hip bones to the front part of the box closest to the shoulder block. So I'm going to slide pretty far forward. So my hips are on the box, the bones are, but the rest of the flesh is off the box. Now, based on your leg length, you may need to bring your foot bar closer to you. For me, this is fine. It's pushing right into my Achilles. If your feet aren't touching the foot bar, take a second and slide the foot bar closer to you or bring it up to the high position so that you can really push into the foot bar with your legs. So I'm going to push up into the foot bar and that's going to kick my glutes in, my hamstrings in, the whole back of the body is going to start to kick in. Take your arms, bring them on the box with the palms facing down, up. You're going to push the front of the hands into the box and lift into a back extension. Roll your shoulders back, pull your abs in, push your pubic bone down and hold for 10, 9, just breathe, keep pushing into those legs, four, three, two, and one. Release the hands to the wood, relax everything over and take a break. We're gonna progressively get harder. If you need to do um, an easier variation, you can stick with the one we just did. Second variation, you're gonna lift back up, take the hands to the box, lift your chest up, push your feet into the um, foot bar, push your pubic bone down. If you're ready for it, take the hands behind the head. This is more weight now for the back to work because your arms are um, an extension here. So you're gonna bend your hips or hinge from your hips forward and back or hinge from your back. So hinging down into the well and lifting back up. As you lift up, push that pubic bone down more, push your feet into the foot bar Kick in that whole back chain of the body. And four. Slow and controlled. Everyone wants to rush this. Don't do it. Take, keep it slow. Find the work. One more. Hands to the wood. Relax and release everything. Awesome, awesome job. We have one more to go, you guys. Take one more recovery breath. So we're gonna push those feet up into the foot bar, pull your abs in, take your hands beside the box, just like you had. So top of the hands in the box, palms up, lift your chest up and hold it. Right arm's gonna reach to the tower, come back. Left arm reaches to the tower, come back. Both arms reach to the tower and then back. Continue that pattern, single, single, double. If you need to continue single, you can. Keep pushing those legs in, keep pushing that pubic bone down, work your back body. Two more sets, single arm, single arm, double arms. Last one here, you guys, really good work. I know this is not easy, but our back needs the work. Really good job, take the hands down, Relax, slide your body back, put your knees onto the carriage, put your elbows onto the box, round your back and scoop. Give your back a little flexion. And then arch your back and round, give your back a little extension. And then just use your breath to move between the two. So exhaling as you scoop, inhaling as you release. Exhaling as you scoop. Inhale as you release. And do that two more times. All right, nice work. All right, we finally made it to where we're gonna take the box off because it's been on the whole time and we're going to lay down, so that'll be fun. So let's go ahead and come off the carriage. You're gonna remove the box, place it somewhere where it's not in the way. We're gonna take it to a red spring only. 
So we're also changing the ways. That's good. We haven't done that in a while. So red spring on, take your blue spring off, and I want you to find your ball. So find that ball that you had in the beginning. We're going to lay all the way down with the ball. All right, so you're going to take that right arm, reach it straight up to the ceiling. We have one red spring on. You have that ball under your tailbone. You're pulling your belly button in like you're trying to push it in towards the ball, legs and tabletop. For a little more challenge, reach your left arm up to the ceiling, and we'll start by reaching the right arm straight down to the side and back up. So this left arm up to the ceiling is going to create a little bit less stability. With the arm down, you have a little bit more balance and control. So if you feel like you need the arm down, please put it down. I'm going to do this series with my arm up. So I'm just exhaling as I push the arms down to the side or the arm down to the side, inhale back up. So the ball's creating a little bit of instability for me. My abs have to work even harder. And because I only have one hand in the strap, that's creating a little bit more instability as well. Next time the arms to the side, hold it. Let's go into a tricep, bend your elbow. When you straighten your elbow, reach your left leg long. When you bend your elbow, bend the left leg back in. So both arm and leg go long, both arm and leg bend in. Again, if you need that left arm down, take it down. Move slow and controlled, like you're moving through molasses. Three more to go. And here's two. The next time the leg and arm are straight, I want you to hold it. So you're holding the right arm straight, the left leg straight. Take an exhale, push your right leg out to meet your left, and then pull it back in. So you're reaching the leg long and low and back in. To make this easier, both legs can be a little higher. To make it harder, both legs can go a little bit lower. Just work at a position that feels like a good challenge for you. Exhaling as you press. Good, we've got two more to go. Last one here. Hold both legs long if you can. If this is too challenging, you've got tabletop as an option. We're going to take the arm out to the T, up to the ceiling, and back down to the sides. Now I'm really super squeezing my legs together to help me get more um, engagement of my leg muscles to assist me in this exercise. So it's definitely not an easy one. Here's your modification, legs and tabletop. You can kind of do a middle ground where the legs are going in and out as well. So find a position that works for you today. And of course, use your breath. That always helps. Last two here. One more, and then we're going to switch the direction of the circle. So let's go up first, pull out, down, and back up. I'm really hugging my navel into my spine, pulling my legs in nice and tight. Use your breath. Really good job, you guys. Almost there. Last two. Last one. Good. Reach the arm to the ceiling, pull the legs in and rest. Nice job. Let's take the foot into the strap. So put your left foot on the foot bar, push all the way out, take your right foot into the strap, and then let your arms rest to your sides, lift both legs into tabletop. So the right leg is going to reach out long on the exhale, and then you're going to switch it with the left leg on the inhale. Still working with the ball here, so the ball is creating some instability that I've got to work a little bit more through my core, and I'm going to move maybe a little slower than usual to find that control. But the great thing about the ball is if you've got tight hamstrings, it really helps take the pressure out of the hamstrings so that you can focus on your, your abs and your legs a little bit more. Good. We've got two more to go with a single leg stretch variation. And now instead of the legs being bent, let's straighten them. Reach the right leg straight up, left leg over the foot bar, and then change. I like to inhale when the right leg goes up, exhale when the right leg comes down. Think of nice big windshield wipers pressing down against the resistance. 
Good, we've got three more here. And then we're gonna do a fun one called a helicopter, which is even more fun on the ball. Good, so the next time the right leg is down and the left leg is up, hold it. So you're gonna circle your legs away from each other. So the left leg's gonna circle down, the right leg's going to circle up until you're in the exact opposite direction that you've started. So your right leg's up now, your left leg is down. Scissor back to where you started and we're gonna do it again. So you're moving the same direction the entire time. Left leg circles down, right leg circles up. Find your scissor and then switch. So you're doing a nice big helicopter circle, legs moving in different directions, and then back to your scissor. So legs are opening wide, and then back to your scissor. Legs go wide, and then scissor. And once you get the hang of this, we're gonna switch it, and we're gonna do the opposite direction. So this is actually the easier direction because the strap weight is pulling you during the circle. And then in a moment, we're gonna switch it to a little more challenging variation. And if you need to, you can always make your smaller circles. Good, do one more. Good, so you're ending with the right leg up and the left leg down. So I'm doing one more circle to start. So I've got my right leg to the ceiling, my left leg over the foot bar, both legs are active. I'm going to circle the right leg down, left leg up, and then scissor. So the circle's a lot more challenging. I'm pushing the circle again against that resistance of the spring. So use your exhale on that circle. And if this is just way too confusing, just limit it to the right leg and don't worry about the left. You can keep your left in tabletop. If it just seems like it just doesn't work, this is kind of like patting your belly and rubbing your head all at the same time. Last two and balancing on the ball. So we've even upped at the ante a little bit more than usual. Good, now hold. Take your left leg, bend it. You're going to thread it under the strap but over your leg and cross your ankle. So now I've got my left ankle just resting on my right ankle. Both legs are going to lift up and both legs are gonna push back down. So I'm lifting both legs on the inhale, getting a nice stretch through the back of the legs, and then exhaling down. Now I guess if you are not enjoying the ball here and it doesn't work for your body, then you can do this entire series without the ball. Not every exercise works for everybody, so you've gotta find something that works for you. So don't be afraid to modify and kind of adjust based on your individual needs. Good, we'll do this two more times, down and up. And then one more time, down and up. When you get back up to the top, stay there, and I want your hips to be right in line with your feet. So you have a straight line pointing up to the ceiling. Take your hands and hold the ball. We're gonna lift our hips off the ball, and when we do so, you wanna be holding the ball so it doesn't um, roll away. So you're gonna lift your hips straight up, try to make a footprint on that ceiling, Hold the ball so it doesn't move, and then roll your hips and put them back down on the ball. So you're lifting straight up, right to the ceiling, and then rolling it back down. Big exhale as you lift. Big inhale as you resist back down. So essentially, if you are able to, you're working kind of into the shoulder stand position. Your headrest is definitely down here, so I'm sorry to not mention that, but definitely want your headrest down anytime you're gonna lift the hips up so your neck has a little bit of room. And you wanna keep your gaze straight out in front of you, keeping the back of the neck long, making sure the weight's coming right up to the shoulders but not into the neck at all. Good, really activate the back of the legs. Mine are definitely burning. We've got two more to go, you guys, and then we're done. Reach, reach, reach. Last one's the best one. Go all the way up, touch the ceiling, lower it back down. Uncross your legs and put your left foot on the foot bar. And then you're going to take the ball out from underneath you. You're gonna hold the ball and we'll do a little stretch on this side. So I'm gonna have my right leg straight up to the ceiling, still in that strap. Two options, you can keep your left leg bent 
or you can straighten your left leg. So find out what works for you, either the left leg straight or the left leg bent. And think of grounding down through that tailbone. So you're actually not letting yourself come into an imprint. You're trying to stay neutral in your pelvis. And then you'll actually have something to kind of stretch against. So now take your right leg and reach it out to the right, stretching the inner thigh. I like to actually take my left leg and open it out as well. And so that both of my legs are turned out. And I do like for me the bent position, but if you would like to do the straight leg position, that's another option that you might want to take. So I'm keeping both of my hips grounded to the mat as I open that inner thigh. And then bring it back up to the ceiling. This time I like to bring the right ball of the foot on, go all the way out with, or excuse me, left ball of the foot, all the way out with the left, and then send the leg over towards the side. I'm just holding the ball just so I don't have to pick it back up, but you can set definitely set it down and pick it back up on the other side. So now just stretching that outer thigh, reaching that leg across your body. And then we're going to get ready to do the other side. So bring the leg all the way in. You can take the right foot out of the strap. Let's lift the hips up and pop that ball under your tailbone and then bring the left strap into the hand. Bring your legs in tabletop. Again, we have the option of the right hand down or the right arm up for more challenge. Take an inhale to prepare and then exhale. The left arm is going to press straight down to the side and then back up. I'm trying to think of anchoring my belly button right into that ball. Good, we've got two more here on this side with a straight arm press. And then keep the arm down by your side, tricep, bend your elbow. When you straighten your elbow, straighten your right leg. So the right leg and right arm straighten, the right leg and the right arm bend. So both straighten and both bend. Good. Keeping on adding challenge from here. Last two in this tricep. Bend and stretch. The next time the right leg and arm are straight, hold it. And then you're going to have your left leg go out and to reach to the right and then back in. So your left arm straight, your right leg is straight, and your left leg is just going out to tap and then back in. Going out to meet and back in. Again, the higher the legs are, the less challenge. The lower the legs are, the more challenge. This is your workout. Make it work for you today. Every day is different. Last three. Two more. Last one. Now hold the legs long if you can. You're going to circle the arm out to a T, up to the ceiling, and pull it down to the side. Out to a T, up to the ceiling, and pull. These are probably smaller circles than when you usually have two arms and straps. So you're limiting your range based on your ability to stay on this ball. Don't fall off the ball. Give me two more. One more here. Keep those legs super squeezed together. Let's reverse the circle. Go up, go out, pull down. You've got it. Go up, pull out, and down. My abs are working like crazy. One arm and strap is really working a lot of obliques. The strap is trying to pull me off to the side. I've got to use my abs to stay on. You've got it. Two more. Last one here. Awesome work. Set the right foot down. Push all the way out. Let's put our left foot in the strap this time. Bring both legs into tabletop and we'll start with our single leg stretch. So you're right leg, excuse me, left leg's going to go long, and then your right leg's going to go long. I like to exhale when the strap leg is pushing. Inhale when the strap leg's stretching. Good. We've got two more with our single leg stretch. 
and then we're going to straighten both legs and take it to our scissors. So reach the right leg long, left leg long. Exhale, the left leg goes down towards the floor, and then inhale, it comes back up. Big exhale as you sweep down. Inhale, back up. Well, I'm really hoping this video is working for you guys. Um, I'm going to have to do a lot of editing because I've had a lot of stopping and starting. I work out in my home, so a lot of knocking at the door today. <laughs> so hopefully it works out. And there's not too many little splotches that are going to be hard to put together. Hopefully you don't even notice. It's all smooth sailing. Last two. And last one. Now we're going to start with the left leg down and the right leg up. So let's do one more. So get to that position where the left foot is down, the right leg is up. You're going to scissor or circle. So the left leg goes up, right leg goes down, and then you scissor back to where you started. So I'm circling the left leg up, right leg down, and then I'm scissoring back to where I started. So the strap is assisting me in this direction. Again, we're patting our head and, and uh, rubbing our belly a little bit. So if this is too much, take the right leg out of it. Two more in this direction. And then we've got our little more challenging direction to go. Good. So let's scissor to start. So the left leg's going to be up to start. Right leg is down to start. You're going to circle against the resistance and then scissor back. Big circle against the resistance and scissor back. Three more. And two. Really use those abdominals. You probably feel that little shifting of the weight. Got to use your abs to hold yourself on the ball. Next time the left leg is down, your right leg's going to bend in, thread over the leg, but under the strap, cross at your ankles. Both legs lift up and both legs pull down. Both legs lift and both legs pull. Use your breath, nice big inhales to lift, exhales as you squeeze the glutes and press down. We're almost done with the workout. Just a few more fin things to finish. We've got one more of these straight leg presses down and up. And then the next time the legs come to the ceiling, I want you to stay right there. Hold the ball just so it doesn't move. You're going to lift your legs straight up to the ceiling, coming off the ball, holding the ball to keep it still and then lowering right back down to touch. Big exhale to lift, making sure again the weight stays in the shoulders. You don't feel any weight coming into the neck. Back of the um, head's pushing gently into the headrest. Headrest definitely down. Good, use your breath. Last two. You've got it, guys. One more to go. Come all the way down. Take the ball out from where it is. Take your right foot down onto the foot bar. Again, now you're done with the ball. You can just set it down. We don't need it anymore. We're just going to stretch. So you can either have your right leg bent, ball the foot on the foot bar, finding your stretch, rooting your tailbone down. So if I actually come to my imprint, I lose a little bit of stretch. If I push my tailbone down, squeeze my quadricep, lift my kneecap, I'm going to get a bigger, deeper stretch. Your second option was the right leg is straight and you pull the strap. This option gives you a little more calf stretch on the right side, so that's a nice little bonus. So I'm just going to hold this for a few breaths. Our second stretch is outer thigh, so you can just push the leg out to the left, hold here, inner thigh, sorry. <laughs> and then second option was to bend the right leg and rotate the right leg into an, 
external rotation for your little bit of inner thigh stretch on both legs. And then bring the legs back to the midline. And then I like to push the right leg straight for the last stretch. So you definitely get that little calf stretch, dropping the right heel under. And then take your left leg across your body for an outer thigh stretch. And then when you're ready, come on up and you guys are done. Come all the way in, take that strap off, put it back onto the peg. You can give those knees a little bit of a hug, rocking side to side. Thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the class and I hope to see you in another class soon. If you've got any questions, let me know. You can rock all the way up and off. Make sure you're grabbing plenty of water and um, I will see you next time. Have a great day.